Hi. Remember the ugly bacteria? They are called food spoilage bacteria. Although they won't make you ill, like pathogenic bacteria, they do cause problems with food, including damage to packaging, blown cans or packs, the production of gas, unusual taste, texture change, mold, slime and stickiness, discoloration, and off odors. Here are some examples of food poisoning bacteria or pathogens. Salmonella, of which there are about 1,500 different types. Clostridium, where we get Botox from. Bacillus cereus. And Staphylococcus aureus, which we find on us. So what are the requirements for bacterial multiplication? There are four conditions necessary for bacterial growth or multiplication. Food, moisture, warmth, and time. Let's start by looking at food. There are four different food types. They are high-risk foods. These are common food vehicles in food poisoning, usually high in protein, stored under refrigeration, and no further processing is going to take place. The second group is raw foods, the major source of food poisoning organisms. The next two groups are low-risk foods and ready-to-eat raw foods. Low-risk foods can be acid foods, with a pH of less than 4.5, foods with a high sugar, salt or fat content, dry products, it includes preserved foods not requiring refrigeration and foods requiring ambient storage. Ready-to-eat raw foods include fruit, salad vegetables, which must be washed thoroughly before consumption to minimize the risk from low-dose pathogens. Thanks for watching. The next video will cover temperature control of foods.